I had asked a while ago what I should call the people who follow me on YouTube and Mallards was the suggestion and I keep meaning to try it out and then I keep forgetting so we're gonna try it today hey Mallards how's it going I hope you guys are having a good day today is Saturday and it's actually almost five o'clock in the evening I basically slept all day I drove Megan to work I went to sleep well I put laundry in the washer I set an alarm I slept and then I moved that laundry from the washer to the dryer and put another load in and then I slept and then I moved that laundry and then I slept and then I went and picked up Megan from work so it's not necessarily an overly productive day uh, but sleep is important and I haven't done a lot of it lately and now I am hopping in the car because I'm gonna drive to Tampa to go see Angels in America part one a uh, friend of ours Makai is doing this as his like senior directing project it's a show I haven't seen uh, and I'm looking forward to it. I definitely uh, got a little lost on my way here just because the university is kind of confusing but I think I've made it uh, and you know still have like six minutes before the show starts so it's all good. It is intermission number one uh, and I'm already really enjoying the show. Uh, I didn't necessarily, I mean, I knew that Angels in America was about like the 80s age crisis, but I didn't know like how the show was set up and I'm enjoying the way that they like lay out the characters. I like the script. Uh, the staging is fun. I can't wait to see the second half. Uh, they put the like, all of the stage hands in like black morph suits, which is fascinating. Like it makes them seem sort of like weird shadow people. And it's definitely a choice. Uh, there's a still, like, there's a whole nother, this show is very long. There's a whole nother intermission coming. Uh, and so I'm sure I will report back after that. There are like five characters I haven't even met yet. So there is a lot more interesting stuff to be had. I'm also really glad I wore pants and brought my jacket because it's cold in here. But this theater is so pretty. Like, come check it out. It's gorgeous. I'm really good. The only downside to this giant place is that they're not mic'd, and so sometimes it's hard to hear them, and also sometimes it's hard to light them. Uh, which is what happens when you have a student production in this giant place, I think. Uh, but other than that, like, it's been real fun. It is intermission number two. I'm hanging out upstairs where like the restrooms are and a bunch of costume racks. I don't know, it's an interesting place. This show like is only part one of two parts. Like I said, I hadn't read Angels in America before so I didn't necessarily know for sure what I was getting myself into, but I'm really enjoying, it's like the story of multiple characters that all take place at the same time and kind of the mixture of how the AIDS crisis and homosexuality in general are affecting each of them and I am enjoying it. I like also the music choices that Makai has made. I think that they add to the story in interesting ways and I am gonna enjoy the next part of this and then probably have to read part two so that I can know what happens to all these characters. The show is over. Uh, it definitely, hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna have to read part two because I am curious about like how the rest of this whole narrative goes. Uh, Makai clearly poured a lot of his heart and soul into this. His curtain speech really, really like showed how much he loves this show and cares about it and how much he's poured into it. Um, it is maybe not my brand of theater, but they did put on a good show. I liked the sound design of this show especially. Uh, I thought that that was really, really good. The staging was fun. Like this is Makai's senior directing project. So more the content of his directing choices is what's interesting to me rather than like the script itself. Although obviously he did choose the script. And so I am intrigued about what the rest of that story is. But I was overall impressed and enjoyed his directing choices. I think they made very good use of that space I liked the way a lot of the scenes were staged. There's a fight scene that happens where two separate couples fight. And I'd be interested to see in the script if it's designed for those fights to happen simultaneously or if that is a choice that Makai made, but it's one of the things that I really liked 
in this particular script. Now I'm gonna go see if my car has a ticket on it. Good news, there was no ticket on my car and I made it safely home. So I'm back home, I had a great time at the show, and I'll see you tomorrow, Mallards.